Hi, so let's uh, continue. Um, I will now load where calendar one. All right, so here is a program. Um, what we want to do now is uh, make it clearer. We want to remove uh, line 3300. Uh, 3300. Oops. All right because uh, it is in the wrong position so before i remove that let us uh, look at the top where do we want to position that so we want to position that near uh, this line okay because uh, all, right. all right so that is clearer now so w um, W is uh, day of the week and W affects this value start call start call so we better put it at line 1810 1810 1810 which is which is uh, all right that means uh, if it is the beginning of the month like if it is January, uh, beginning of the year, sorry, if it is the beginning of the year, then we want W to be on a Friday. Okay. Uh, else, W uh, should be equal to uh, column plus one. That's it. All right. So then we can remove we can now remove uh, line 1200 1200 1200 so 1200 remove and we can also remove uh, we can also remove 3300 now so that's the same uh, f logic flow the same algorithm all right so that is clearer now so here define d uh, D and that's D D D. Uh, okay, we have to add the other months later on. In the meantime, we have W. If bulan, then W equals five, well, which affects this W, which affects start column, start column. All right. So let's run the program now and see if it works. All right. So good. January starts on a Friday. Friday. Now the next month. Uh, well, January ended on a Sunday, so February must start on a Monday. It must start right here. Let's see. Excellent. So, February started on a Monday, and uh, it ends on a Monday too, so the next month must start on a Tuesday. Tuesday. March must start on a Tuesday. Okay. So far, so good. Uh huh. And uh, what else do we want to display? Um, well, what we can do is, uh, okay, what we can do is, let's go to the last one, so, uh, all right, okay. One eight nine nine skip. So that separates it and uh, auto eighteen hundred. Okay, ten. I can say uh, if boolean equals one, then boolean string equals. Jan January if boolean equals 2 then boolean string equals Feb uh -huh. if boolean equals 3 then boolean string equals March alright um, that's going to take a long time, so boolean string equals uh, 
miscellaneous boolean. All right, so I don't have to write the whole year. In the meantime, if boolean string is a variable, how do I insert that? So, so if boolean equals one. Alright, so where do I insert that? Where do I insert that? Clear screen! We inserted a clear screen. Right after clear screen, we want to print. We want to print. Uh, print. Uh, question mark is a shortcut for print. I can say print boolean string. Excellent. Alright. Uh huh. That is a shortcut, and if you list to one again, uh, it automatically writes the whole command print. All right, so let's see if we have a nice program, a better looking program now. It's miscellaneous boolean. Aha, uh -huh, wait, something wrong. Oh, something wrong. No, 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 no. It should print January. So uh, if it is three, if it is one, then else boolean okay I can say uh, one eight nine eight one eight nine eight I can say uh, no 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 wrong 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 uh-huh at 1800 1810 uh, we want it to go to 1900 all right I see I see I see so right then go to 1900 all right next go to 1900 okay okay uh, let's see what if I go to 1900 all right now what if uh, what if I do not write all the months let's see what happens all right January February March let's see what happens oh it keeps printing March all right so we want to correct that we can say uh, at line 1840 okay we can say uh, uh, boolean string equals okay renum renum now we have a clearer program let's run it January February March, miscellaneous boolean, miscellaneous boolean, okay, right, okay, calendar, everything, so far so good, good, so I will now calendar 2, the first one was calendar 1, uh, at that time we did not print the name of the month, okay, so